Hello everyone and welcome to Let's Play uh, Mario Sports Mix Basketball! The final tournaments of all the tournaments we'll be playing. Starting off with the Mushroom Cup as always. I think it's summer. I don't know, each sport seems to have some sort of a season resolved around it. So anyways, we begin. I am Yoshi 22 you can see all the characters right there. We are Green Yoshi, and we are going to play against Pink Yoshi right away. So let's get on with this. So yeah, I'm Yoshi 22 again. I'm playing with Yoshi the Team Bowser, and we are playing against Pink Yoshi, Yellow Ocean, Waluigi. And first we're going to learn the controls, which has happened every other time before. Let's see, we pass, uh, jump shot, or dunk it. Or you can even steal if you want. And you can jump block, and jump attack if you're being a little bit of a... Did you explain jump attack? When they just shine dunk, you can block it. And that's it. Let's begin! So to start off, we are on Mario Stadium. This court, there are no gimmicks. <laughs> so yeah, very last time, no gimmicks. One. As you may have... As you may have guessed, all we do is just play a nice fair game of basketball in a normal arena. So, apart from that, let's begin basketball. Every time, uh... Uh, I don't know what you call it. Something starts, you go for a jump thing. And then, after someone scores like what I did, you get points, depending on how it is. Uh, I need to explain this better. Okay, uh... Let's see. Pass to other players, you can steal it from them. Pass. Go for sh Oh, wow. So, yeah, basically, uh. I don't really suck at explaining things, don't I? And I suck at pot. Apparently, my whole team sucks at passing. Even he sucks at passing. Whatever. So, basically, you get points depending on where you score from the net. If you. S or from the basket. If you score up close like how I just did there with Dunk. You get two points. Uh, when you're on offense, you have your guys run around and do stuff. You can use. How do I explain? I don't know how to explain. Well, if you don't want to shoot, you dunk. You know, you jump. You get um, I mean, you get a super cell which automatically goes in unless blocked. As I said, you get two points from the cent from the inside there. But if you score from out here, you'll get three points in All special shots also count towards three points, except for Waluigi's. Which are all worth one. So apart from that, every, uh, every time the other team scores, uh, one team scores, the other team will get the ball. Every time you take a sh- uh, And every time you- you have a certain amount of time you have to shoot before you go- Before it passes off to the other team, so you gotta be quick about it. If you steal the ball, the timer resets. You can see the little timer by the bottom right. Or bottom left. Right above the special gauge. Or our special gauge. So yeah, you can see it in Super Charge 24. So, apart from that, you can pull off dunks, you can pull off uh, normal shots. Whatever you want. At the beginning of each period, as I now know what it's called in this game, you have to do a little jump thing to get it. The player who gets it, uh, the team who gets it, gets to, uh, keep the ball. Although it's easily, it's very easy to steal from that point, especially if you do a jump attack. So yeah, other than that, basically I've showed you all the shooting stuff, now I show all the defensive stuff. So when a player tries to shoot, shoot. Take a shot. Take a shot. You can jump up like that to block it. If they're going for a dunk, that block will not cut it and you'll have to see how well we can try and block it and completely failed. Granted, you need to do something else, but the dunk can't be blocked that way. You have to dunk, dunk, uh, stop the, the dunk a different way. Which I'll do if Waluigi jumps up. I'm just explaining right now. I've already won, you can tell. Whatever. If you stay in front of a person long enough, you do an auto skill like that. So, so yeah, as you can see, they can't block it, just don't block. That's when a jump attack comes useful. Doesn't matter where they are, jump attack, and they'll jump. Of course, there is a ha to be a way around it, which is right here. While you're dunking, if you happen to press a uh, certain button, you can uh, do a layup like how you did before. You can immediately follow it by a dunk if you are 
quick enough. Using the layup, you can avoid the jump attack. Of course, that then you can see what the other people do in the air. The jump cut, like what Pinkyos just did there. That can stop the ball from getting the point in the layup. So yeah, apart from that, let's just finish up and yeah, time. If you are making a dunk while taking a sh while time runs out, it doesn't count. However, if you're taking a shot from the distance and the ball doesn't make it, then yeah, and the ball makes it, then you get the points. So yeah, so we begin. We start with the jump. Uh, the, the start up. He throws the ball up, jumps up, catch it, and you can do whatever you want with it. And I just pass the kick. So apart from that, you can uh, dodge. You can do a spin attack like that. I don't know how it works. How does that thing work? I'm gonna look at the controls. And talk. So yeah, he stole from me. I steal from him. Then I can go up and take a shot. As you can see, I just used Yoshi's special again. Special shot. It was only worth. Was I only worth two points? I'm sure I hit from the three. Oh my god. Get going! Yeah, also you can pull off combos. You guys can pull off a dunk. And you can go up and shoot it like that. That dunk can also be blocked with the jump attack, but you cannot pull off a layup through there, so. It's a little tough. You can also perform the jump yourself. The, the, the dunk yourself too while they're doing it like so. Uh, they jump and you jump as well. Anytime you can pass it to them instead of performing the layup. So you're not allowed to perform the layup while doing that also. Unless you like go the combo button. So apart so, so yeah, apart from that, there's only that. Only got one and a half minutes left, so I'm gonna pack to see that other move I did. Uh there we go. Uh, I don't know what it is. There we go. That move, it's the tip move. If you use it uh, against your foes wisely, you can just go straight past them like how I just did against wall leads. Pretty easy uh, avoiding them. It, it all depends on where you're going with it though, because if you go the same way the opponent's doing, you'll get stunned like how we just did there. Yeah, apart from that, nothing else to do but get some points and practice stuff. We are going on some event. I'm gonna divide this into two parts, I have to guess. I don't know, basketball is a pretty long game. It's gonna be longer than volleyball because here we have a set time. Come on, Bowser. Let's show them your special shot. Yeah, each character has their own timing for the shot, so I've only really mastered the reasons. And the lead to that. Here we go. That's a straight in. And I get three points. And Luigi's is the quickest one. See how fast that's winning compared to Yoshi's and Bowser's? Yoshi and Bowser had the charges, and we just didn't. The more technical you are, basically, I think, the, the faster the shock will go in. So Luigi pretty much masters that area, since the other characters, all they really do is, uh... I don't know. They go, uh, special. Okay, what to do for the rest of the time? Well, we've got 30 seconds and 20 seconds on the ball timer. I'm gonna have Bowser use a special, something I always do. Even if you're up close by the way, if you use a special like this, burn everyone up, take your shot, well, that's gonna happen. Take your shot. With the special shot, it always counts towards three points, except for Waluigi, as I've said. Now, why do you keep saying, I wonder why I keep saying Waluigi? Well, Waluigi special is this thing that divides his ball up into four balls. And he gets one point for every ball that makes contact with the basket. Kind of the same as uh, in every sport. Except it's a lot better in a. Uh, ooh, got in, right? There's a timer out. Except in every sport, it's a lot better, obviously, because you only have one point in soccer. In uh, hockey, you have one volleyball pair, and one hit in dodgeball pair. So here it's a lot more even. Now. So yeah, I win. Yay. With that, we will speed through the oh, second periods of the rest. Because I didn't speed through this one because I had some more explaining to do. Showing the basic game of basketball. These basketball games get a lot more intense as it goes on, actually. So I'm going to actually play through them all instead of speeding them through. That's your fault for wanting to speed throughs of this. No way. I like Green Shield wins. Daisy and 
You don't care about them. Let's get on with our match. Daisy and Peach won those two. We're fighting Green Toad. Green players. Oh, we've got uh, Yoshi, uh, Green Toad, Wario, and Pink Yoshi in Koopa Troopa Beats. Right. Now, if those of you may remember from all the other videos, Koopa Troopa Beats, there's a little wave that appears on the side. It moves you around if you touch it. Yeah, yeah. Who cares? The main feature is that once in a while the wave will come up on shore and will wash up a bunch of coins and shells. Using the coins and shells, you can get, of course, shell green shell item, and you can also get a uh, lot of coins. Each coin is worth one point in here, so yeah. Apart from that, uh, occasionally they'll. Uh, green shells will wash up on shore, so nothing, mu nothing else to really worry about there. But only from the waters. So apart from that, I cannot control that move. Let's just go for it. Oh, they tried blocking. They tried doing. Why are you shaking his butt? The ball. Why Should I go on about items now? We have not seen a single item box yet. Item boxes do appear in Mario Speed, by the way. Completely failed at that. So yeah, uh, should I go over to him? Should I not? If you don't know him by now, I can explain him right here actually without doing it. So you can watch the game. Come on. So basically, with items, nah, I can't really explain much of the demonstration. Oh, here's the way. So yeah, you can see there's a green shell. I'm trying to get it, but the stupid uh, when you get close to someone, it's gonna be like a little locked thing. Oh crap, I gotta take a shot. I know it's a complete fail, but still. Oh, I got the ball again, so I can go again. That's a good shot there. So yeah, it's worth two plus all the coins I get. So yeah, what else? What else? What else? What else? Green shell. Using it as an item on the ground, you can hit someone like that. You can play with an item, with most items will actually make these points, just to note. So if you use your green shell as an item, this is probably one of the biggest things that a lot of people know about this. Wait till the end point. You use the green shell as an item, it goes straight for the net, just like that. No matter what distance you're from, it'll uh, automatically go in the net unless blocked. Of course, saying that, noting that, it'll only be three points from any distance except right up to it, because obviously that's the two point line, and you can't score from there. So anyways, let's go on the specials. I don't need to explain this, I don't ever explain this. Basically, Yoshi, I send two balls at once. One of them's a decoy, if they block the decoy, they don't get a, uh, nothing happens, but if they block the wheel, well, yeah, that's it. You can also choose which ball you want to be the decoy or not by pressing left or right on the control stick or a pad, depending on which controller you're using. Apart from that, let's just end this first act. Mario, let's end this first period and get off with the rest of this. Oh, come on, I don't want to do that. Um, ah! Oh! I did not want to. <laughs> wow, that was a good one. And the waves come out too. Okay, let's block them out. Yeah, since Toad, uh, Green Toad didn't drop the ball, throw the ball in time, he pretty much doesn't get the self points, no matter what. So apart from that, let's just keep going. Coins. What else is there to explain? Yes, didn't I say in the uh, volleyball one that I explained the reason why I called this one the main one? So basically, you know how this game is set up. It's created by Square Enix with Nintendo. They put their own cakes in and stuff, you should know that. But basically, the reason why this is the main mode because Square Enix has, uh, has made a sports game with Nintendo already, known as Mario Boot Studio 3 for the DS. I never got it myself, but somehow I was interested for a time. I tried entering the giveaway for it at one point, and I realized I was going to Well, there's nothing about that, I like that. I like, I like the I'm probably gonna have no idea what I'm talking about, I think it's completely different. It's just 
just a distance matter, that's it. So yeah, uh... Anyhow, they made that game before they made this game. Which was a lot more characters, of course, but then they, later you know, on, decided to make another game. And this is it. They include the original sport basketball, but it has any of this as well. So that's why this one I consider the original sport. Just because. A lot of these courses are from that game too. Like, for example, I think Koopa Troopa Beach is from that game. I don't know exactly. Let's get a green shell and kill someone. Die Toad! Alright, good job, Bowser. I'm gonna take my shells, you guys are in the coins. Coins, Bowser! Luigi, get the coins! Jeez. Get the coins! Get the coins! Get the. Oh! Ha ha ha! Get his own partner. Yeah, you can hit your own partner, so you gotta watch out for it. So, yeah, we just dominate them. Wow. So, what else does it say? Green Toad's in the way, I pass to Luigi, but they intercept- Yeah, you all want to tell about that. They don't always toss upward, uh, pass upwards. Like, sometimes they toss, uh, sideways, but other times they will toss a high pass like that. You can't get that without jumping. I don't know how high you it. I don't know if it's like a distance factor or not. Uh... Yeah, nothing else to it. Of course, easy's easy. You can go up and do this. But some people eventually, like, really know how to use this, uh, basketball. It'd be pretty cheap. There's some pretty cheap combos I've seen before. Clearly, some of the most impossible things I've ever seen. Especially some of the characters. Some characters are rigged depending on their sport. I don't know exactly who to explain who, to, who who for what. I don't know who's great in this boy, as in the... I don't know, I know who. It's that damn character I hate so much. I will explain who he is when we unlock him. Because we have not unlocked him in a single sport yet, but he's unlockable. For that, for now, we will just finish up the Beach with a green shell shot. Oh, so one green shell shot, so yeah. Shot. Time runs out. Time runs out, but the shot has to be completed if you're not holding on to it. We get the points. And the game ends. Good game. Here's our winners. So with that, we shall continue off to the final round. When Wario stops weeping like a little baby over there. Well, let's get on with it. Green Toad loses. He dies. Peach and Daisy fight. A huge combat of smoke. Daisy's better than Peach. Peach disappears and dies. Then Yoshi and Daisy fight for the final... Finals. Yes. Why do I keep... Yeah, the finals of the Mushroom Cup is DK Dock. In this stage, there is the moving dock. The center line will move, and the two point, three point lines will move. The rules still apply, where the two point, uh, the two point lines and three point lines will be important. Uh, this little area I'm standing in right now counts as a two point line, but it just gives you a little warning that it's about to fall off the dock. As such, you gotta watch out for falling off the dock. It actually can be quite useful jumping off the dock sometimes, so. So as you can see, it goes a little bit further, and it just goes back and forth randomly. But yeah, as you notice, even the three-point line goes back, so you can go back to a distance like this, to a shot like such, and it still counts as a three-pointer, because the three-point line is right beside the net. However, a note to point out, dunks will always give you two points, no matter what you do. I can move that to you once I get the ball. Oh yeah, another thing about the stage, if you fall off the water, the other team gets possession of the ball as if you score the point. So, ah! Did not expect that. Really should have tried to avoid that. What if I can show an example? Yeah, like right here, I jump in the water. They start with possession. 
It's pretty good tactic sometimes in this course. If you just want to get the ball, uh, if they're really close to shooting, scoring. Please note that if the ball, if someone is currently dunking while it's happening, or if the ball is being shot, falling into the water will count as nothing. Also, you can make special. Oh, snap. Yeah, see, they knocked me in the water and they got the ball. You can all. Oh, you can, while the water's still there, you're still able to make dunks and shots. It's just it becomes really tough. You can still make dunks perfectly if you're like this. Pretty tough. So yeah, you can see Yellow Yoshi fell off, I believe, and I fell off too. But it didn't it didn't count until uh, I fell in. And if the water falls in, depending on whoever had it last, the other team will get it. So yeah, now we've got a banana. I can explain that simply. If you've played Mario Kart, you obviously know how it works there. Uh, if you use a banana, you will get a... You will throw it on the course forward for a couple of... Or you can, if you want, you can take a shot like this, and make a slow curved shot like that, and it automatically go into the thing. If someone gets it, they the ball flies high, and the person falls down for a minute, as if they tripped on a banana. So with that, let's take a really close shot. That's worth three points. Good job, Yoshi. We don't have much time left, so we might as well just let time run out now. Or jump into the water. Whichever one I feel like. Good job, Bowser. Go oh, Bowser just running off the ball. Go Bowser. Pass to Luigi. No, Luigi! Pass to Luigi. Hey Luigi, now's the time. Jump in the water. Cause he didn't dunk. It's also something else you gotta worry. You can't really dunk so easily. Docks completely on that side. So yeah, we got nine seconds. I'm not sure what else to do. Last second dunk! <laughs> Doesn't count because Yoshi dunked it after the time went out. So with that, we got unlucky 13. Rebound dunk. Basically, it says there, if you take a shot and the ball rebounds, pop it. Like this, it'll. Luigi, you're not supposed to get in. You're supposed to help me demonstrate something. Let's, let's see. You've seen it already before, but I might as well show you. Take a shot like this, the ball will. Luigi, I'm trying to demonstrate something! Jeez, you don't know what that means? You know, I'll pass to Yoshi. He's got the worst skill of them all, so he's got the least chance of getting it in. Yeah, he takes a shot, it'll bounce around like that, uh, that. But, if you're skilled enough, uh, if you're skilled enough when you go back to it, you can set it up like this and go for a dunk. Uh, something like, uh, go like this for a dunk. Of course, uh, it didn't really count as going in. But you know what, you get the picture. You can also do that in form of a combo if you want your computer friends to go for it too. Like, uh, I will explain once I get the freaking ball. Give the ball to camper. The ball. Alright, you can also go something like this. Oh, uh, but Daisy blocked it. Yeah, you gotta be aware that they can grab it too. So yeah, so in the form of like this. It's pretty tough to do, I'm not good at it. I'm not gonna do it now because the dock's so close on my side. Yeah, hey, we got the mini mushroom. It works just like the man with doing it. And if you shoot as a ball, it just takes a regular shot. No specialty this time. But if the person blocks it, they will become minimized. So because it shoots just normally, you can't throw it. So yeah, it goes about that distance for all. So yeah, there you can see I almost did it. Another rebound shot. It went straight to Luigi the shot somehow. Oh well. Yeah, items disappear after every point's been scored. Oh crap. <laughs> That's something you gotta watch out for. So, we've got so much time left. I gotta say, this is actually a really good course in my I really enjoy it. And Luigi fell in the water. 
because they blocked me. Well, let's get that ball back. I can't let him throw us any points. I'm gonna use my special, make him run back. So yeah, you may notice the camera's also following a ball. That's the ball I chose for it to be real. It works only like that if you're against computers. Otherwise, I don't know how it works. I've never really played a multiplayer using Yoshi special before. Though. I always use it randomly, just in case. If it's used randomly, I'm not. Yeah, it'll sometimes focus on the ball that you chose. Otherwise, I'm not going to. So apart from that, what item will we get this time? Red shell. Works just like a green shell. Oh, if you throw it, it changes the player. But if you throw it like this, it works just like a red shell. It's kept bossy. If you throw it on the ground, it'll chase out the closest player and hit them. So nothing really to explain there. And the final item, which you probably will not see and have not seen yet. Okay, you can have seen it once. It's the fun, but the superstar. It makes you invincible. You run around. You touch. They get knocked over. The shots become invincible shots. They go straight in like a green shell and knock over all opponents in the lane. So on, so forth. We win. Let's get that cut now. So yeah, with the completion of DK Dock, we unlock it. Good for us. And with that, we get the trophy. Thirty minutes into this, or twenty-six minutes into this. I can record that and upload it. It's perfect for everyone. I mean, it's just one tournament. It's three matches. So here's all our people cheering who we played against, except Mars. Who we, are playing against. we get the trophy, and now there's finally a third person celebrating with us. It finally fits. You don't know what I'm talking about. Go view the volleyballs. Seriously. So yeah, with that, we get the mushroom cup. So with that. Thank you so much for watching. I've been your chance to do. Uh, as you can see here, we got the mushroom cup. We can play the chance to discover a new route, which is like the missing thing. Cheating in tournament wise. So, yeah, thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, make sure you like it. If you like the series, make sure you subscribe. I post videos every couple days, so with that, thanks for watching. Good night, everyone.